Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here with my review of Hunter x Hunter episode 116. So, uh, yeah, I don't know the title of the episode. Yeah, so let's keep going. Gotta keep saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sometimes I don't know what to think about this series. You know, it normally presents a good story and everything, but a story with m mostly talking without any violence. And, well, sometimes it gets boring. But this wasn't as boring as episode 112, which everyone loved for some reason. But this episode also captures somewhat of the same feeling. You know, just do something. Stop thinking and telling the audience your every move. You know, it's like this. We already know what's going on, but the characters don't. So we have to see Killua try to figure out the entire situation that's going on. But, you know, I'll get into that later. Um... But anyways, today's episode really can be explained within a few minutes. I kind of sound like King of Lightning with that one. But since I don't really review this series weekly, I did like the whole thing from the last episode where uh, Knuckle flicked y Yuppie off. And, you know, they can't really show that. So his finger is like off screen and everything. But does anyone know what that's called? You know, where you, you cross your arms and um, it's like a sign of flicking someone off. I just want to know like the name. I wanted to look it up and see where it came from I I like to google things um yeah anyways this episode could be titled uh nothing but anger or rage but I think I'll I'll call it um it's cool but dot 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 you know basically Gon is really 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 angry I won't be looking up many details on the series until the anime is over but why is he so angry over Kite how long were they with Kite until Neferpitu killed Kite? You know, were they with Kite a few days, a week? It didn't seem that long. You know, they were just going around fighting Chimera Ants, and then suddenly, oh my god, the, um, what are they called? The Royal Guard is born, and then suddenly Neferpitu comes out of nowhere and cuts his arm off, and then he's like, go on, kill him, like, get out! And, you know, he dies and everything. Um, it didn't seem that long, basically. Like, you know how in Attack on Titan, well, the way I feel is that Aaron's anger is completely justified. It's just annoying. But why he's angry about the Titans is great. He has a great reason for it. Why Gon is angry at P2 is okay. I think it doesn't make that much sense. You know, you, you knew this man for like a few days. He trained you and everything. And, um... He was just mad because he, he died. But I guess somehow they made a great connection over those few days or a few weeks or whatever. And I think the manga is going to return after the anime is over. You know, the anime will probably end late this year because they're getting really close. It's just a guess. Um, I like the line that Gon said in the episode where he's like, Do you rem remember me? I think it's a great setup, but that's all it is you know going going is angry he's pissed off his aura is black and by watching enough anime this normally means that he might get a power up or something and we haven't really seen going and Killua using a new technique so that's probably what's gonna happen and you know Gon was just so angry I was expecting him to like tell P2 like F you or something after a while cuz he's just going on and on and on he's just like so conflicted where um, you know stopping himself from attacking P2 while she's, uh, or it, because they said it in the episode, while it is healing Komugi. Or I was also expecting, you know, like, Killua to just have to go in there and, like, stab him or something, or stop him with his lightning. You know, I almost felt like P2 was scared of Gon. That's what it looked like. But I'm on P2's side with this one. She killed Kite, yes, but this girl is important to the king, and she's also human. And Gon is still mad, you know, he, he just doesn't care. His basic argument is that, you know, Neferpitu killed Kite, so what makes this girl any different? And he's not thinking straight at all, and Komugi doesn't matter to Neferpitu. Komugi, Komugi matters to the king, and that's why um, Neferpitu was taking care of Komugi. And, you know, he's just not thinking straight. I think it could lead to something bad, and I really don't want them to win this one. You know, Morel, Knuckle, and Netero can win their battles, but I don't think Gon or Killua is ready to fight Neferpitu. 
But with this series, the characters train off screen, so it's possible they're hiding something. Killua might have a lightning yo yo or something. And I like the whole comparison of P2 to a mother protecting her child. Um, it's a, you know, it's like a small comparison, but it's pretty cool. And I know I keep bringing this up, but Gon was angry. You know, he could have at least gotten one punch in. <laughs> one punch, man. I love that manga. You should go check that out. But there's just too much talking for me. Like, it was cool at first, but this arc is just dragging on. And, you know, I'm going to say it again. Leading up to... A huge fight, you know, hyping up the this fight, the entire arc, and it's being a disappoint, a disappointment like right now. We need some action. <laughs> we need some action in this series. I didn't like P2 pleading with Gon and almost seeming like she was scared of him, and then um, she broke her arm, I believe, or her wrist. And maybe it's because her aura isn't out right now. Maybe that's why she's scared, because Gon could probably destroy her with one punch. But, I, I don't know. Also, don't help them with Kite. You know, fight them first. He's like, uh, promise me you'll go to this city and heal Kite. And I don't even know if she can heal Kite, but I'm not, you know, I'm not sure on that one. But, um, I think they should fight first. And I hope she goes right for Gon once Kumugi is healed. I know she said it would take three to four hours, but she said she can heal all the critical wounds um, within an hour and Gon's just sitting down looking at her and I'm starting to like Killua more because he's the one with the common sense in the situation he's calm he's cool he's collected I like that um, Gon's just angry and, you know this character's never angry but you know suddenly he's angry over this man who he was with with uh, he was with this guy for like a few days or a few weeks I, I don't know so yeah, this series is this series is so good, but it's missing violence. And that would help a lot so every episode doesn't seem like just a big conversation. And I was watching why well, I watched part of Sawyer's video um, talking about Hunter Hunter and it says spoilers so I didn't finish it. I'm guessing he finished this arc in the manga. Um he said that Greed Island is between two good arcs. And right now, I don't think this arc is that good. I don't. I don't know if Greed Island is better than this arc, but yeah. But it looks like in the next episode, Killua's family and possibly him will fight Chitu. It also looked like Killua left Gon at the end of the episode, and I, I think he said something about that earlier in the arc. So maybe he's leaving Gon. Anyways, uh, this episode was alright. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more reviews on anime and video games and cartoons. Like me on Facebook and be sure to follow me on Twitter. Have a good day, guys.